Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are talking rates and 10-year note yields eh, a little higher this week. Uh, it's broke out of the range, we'll call it, the 285 to 287 yield range we've been settling in over the last seven weeks. We didn't do that this week, we were a little higher, but still fell short of 3%. Still the target, I think, ultimately on everyone's radar, but we just weren't able to get there again. I mean, we had some strong employment data on Friday, along with some weaker average hourly earnings that didn't really go well together. And I think right now that the Treasury market is still waiting. Stocks like the, the news today, we saw a commodities trade mix. The dollar was a little bit higher, but Treasury still waiting for that it moment, that catalyst that could be uh, the moment that we see a, a breakout. We just didn't see it this week. We did see things nudge a little bit higher in yield space, lower in price but nothing that I would call a shift in momentum. And if you look at implied volatility, implied volatility took quite a hit this week, something we haven't talked about in a while. It's been, you know, 2017, we talked about volatility lower and lower and lower every week. Not so much this in 2018 and as brief as it has been, but this week we did see that both per, before and after non-farm payrolls, we saw aggressive volatility selling. I think the market is very comfortable in a range right now. And if you look, we haven't been below 275 in quite some time. And obviously we haven't been to 3% yet. That's your range. I think if you get above 3% or below 275, those are the levels you're going to look at for volatility to bid again, unless, unless... There's some event overseas. You look at the geopolitical risk with North Korea. We talk about trade wars and tariffs, and we talk about perhaps some of the other global central banks looking to uh, change their, their paths, so, so to speak. Not yet raising rates in Europe, but talking about backing off asset purchases. That could throw a wrench, I think, into some of the portfolios. So right now, uh, with, with yields kind of hovering in a range, volatility lower, next week we do have a lot on the calendar. No Fed speakers as we've entered into the blackout period ahead of the March 21st. FOMC meeting, but we do have CPI, we have PPI, we have retail sales. We also get a ton of supply, threes, tens, thirties, as well as, well as probably close to 160 billion in bills. So there's a lot of supply coming to the market. I think that if the market sees moderate to, to better inflation in the CPI figure, as well as poor participation in the, in the auctions, that could be enough to get us the 3% that we've been longing for. So we aren't there yet. We do have the, the I think the tools in the toolbox ready to get us to 3% in 10 year yield. However, if something else happens out of left field, look for us to trade back down towards 280. I don't see us breaking out of the range based on an event or news. However, 275 to 3% are the big, big walls that we have to get over. And if we do, look for volatility to bid and look for momentum to build in whatever direction we get to. It's not going to be one of those bounces off type of trades if we get through 3% or below 275. So right now, the Treasury market's still waiting. And it may take until March FOMC. It may take until Powell's press conference and forward guidance and projections from the Fed to get us that next nudge. But I think inflation data, strong inflation data and weak auctions could be the key to getting us to 3% next week. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.